Hey guys, this is the Great Lugia here. Welcome to Pokemon Silver Version, the go-through, part 61. And, um, you guys may be wondering about a video I posted yesterday, or for to me, I posted it today, but then removed it. Um, I'll explain that after I battle Lieutenant Surge. At least, hopefully, I'll have time. Actually, I'll just explain it now, because there should be time. Basically, I'm just going to take the time right now to explain. Um, two days ago, basically, well, actually, no, yesterday, this virus pop-up thing appeared on my computer. It's like this thing claiming to be security. It's like, oh, you've got all these problems. And no, I'm not teaching thrash, but they're like, oh, you've got all these problems. I said no! But they're like, you've got all these problems, and if you pay us, we'll fix them, even though there are no problems to begin with. So basically, it's like a scam thing that nobody would fall for. But the thing is, there's a pop-up about it, like, every five minutes. And basically, that's, like, just one of a lot of problems I've been having with this computer ever since, like, I got it, pretty much. For example, on when I'm on the internet, if I should close, like, an extra window on it or something, it'll automatically freeze. And there's a lot of times where it just freezes for, like, five minutes at random, and there's other times where I have to shut the internet and start it all over again. So this is all really annoying, and then there's, um, one or two other things I forget. Oh, yeah, there's also the fact that this computer has low memory, and due to that, I have to delete old videos fairly often to make room for new ones. And basically, I was just tired of it, like, I was sick of it, especially with that pop-up thing, so I was talking with, like, my mom and stuff, and basically, we figured, like, I'd get a new laptop. And it would basically have a lot better memory. It would have a better, like, antivirus sort of thing. Because right now I have AVG, which sucks. I mean, it's really bad. And basically, uh, and what the video I posted was about was saying how I'd wait until I get my new computer to start uploading again. And I'm just going to take the time to say this. Basically, I'd wait for my computer to start uploading again. Or uh, for my new computer to come. Which would take a few weeks. And that basically I had... Um, on a flash drive, I have like my save file from this game. An actual ROM, VBA, all the stuff I'd need. But then, um, earlier today, like an hour or two ago, a friend informed me that... If you transfer a save file to another game, it'll automatically reset itself. So, now I don't think that would work. And I'd have to spend an extra few weeks, an extra week or two, to replay the entire game. And in addition to that, I'd have to wait a few weeks for the new computer to even come. So, it would be like a month with no new videos. And I figured that because Kanto isn't too, too long, or doesn't take too much time, I should... I'd finish possibly by the time the new computer comes, or if it doesn't, then I'll just finish Silver, and then once I start my go through after this, I'll start doing it on my new computer. I'm not 100% about getting the new computer yet, cause my this computer is still playable, but I usable, but it's really annoying. So basically, all I'm gonna say is for now, I'm just gonna keep doing videos. You don't need to know anything else. Basically, here's Lieutenant Surge, and he has one of the coolest gym themes ever. And the awesome thing is, even after this battle ends, we'll get to hear it seven more times. Not se yeah, seven more times. And Tauros is just sweeping everything with Earthquake because it's so awesome. You'd expect the first post-champion fight boss to be a bit more challenging, but no. Most of the boss fights are this easy, or most of the gym leaders. There's only, like, two who are, like, higher level than you at this point in time. Actually, I take... Most of them are either about the same level as you, or one's, like, lower. Then two of them are higher. What just... That was weird. Um, I think I hit the mouse by mistake, so it stopped the video. That definitely wasn't my computer, thankfully. Alright, Earthquake one more time. I 
don't even need to heal up at the Pokemon Center because, like, no, all the Pokemon in this gym got one KO'd. So yeah, he's pretty easy to beat, especially if you have a ground type with Earthquake, and even if not, like, just a regular Pokemon that's decently leveled and has good moves should be able to do pretty well. Unfortunately, the Kanto Gym Leaders don't give you TMs, which is a bit annoying, but whatever. And as you noticed, it's night, because again, I waited a day or two to record this. And I just wanted you guys to see this. Awesome, that Kanto battle theme. This theme is too awesome for something like a stupid tentacle, Magikarp, Caterpie, stuff like that. So I'll just run. So yeah, we're done with Vermilion City. Now it's time to head to the next area, and I think I'll go ahead and put, um, how about Umbreon up front? Also, get used to this battle theme, because aside from, like, one or two roots, this bat this root theme is in every single root of Kanto. Also, you can't go through either underground path, because they're both blocked off in this game. And here we are in Saffron City. There are three things of note here. Here's the first one. Actually, four things. Basically, like in the original games, this guy will give you TM-29, which is Psychic. Pretty much the best Psychic move in the game. Too bad they couldn't have come up with a more original move title, though. And I'm just looking for it. Okay, here we go. And now it is time... For something cool. Oh, I could have seen Umbreon having Psychic and possibly Lapras, but no. I'm gonna give it to the Pokemon that gets stabbed from it. Lugia! I'm gonna delete Recover for this. So yeah, that's definitely useful. And... The second thing would be, um, this area right here itself, it's obviously been redesigned. You can't go anywhere because this guy's guarding it. But he will give you an upgrade, which if you ho have a Porygon and hold the upgrade while trading, it will become a Porygon too. And anyone who I've battled with would know that I really like Porygon too, and they're really good. And screw Porygon 2 being NU. I could see UU, but definitely not NU. And, oop, wait, is this the wrong way? Oh, wait, no, it's not. Also, is this, yeah, here we go. This is the fighting dojo where the Karate King used to be. And here you'll find a focus band. Which isn't really useful for me at all. And, yeah, here is the gym. And for some reason it says gym twice. And here's the Saffron City Gym, we're already here. Teleportation panels, all that. We have time for like one or two battles, I suppose. Also, I have a map right next to me because these warp panels can be quite annoying. So, I just have that so I know where to find all the trainers. In addition to the route for Sabrina. Alright, bite the drowsy. This should be a 2 KO. No huge problems. That did a nice amount of damage and a flinch. Always nice. Die, please. Thank you. Alright, next up is Hypno. This might be a 3 KO, I'm not certain. Alright, looks like it might just be a 2 KO and Poison Gas. Oh, great, missed. That's good. Come on, please KO or get a flinch, please. Okay, good, KO. Alright, let's see. Which way to go next? If you're hearing something, that's the map. Hmm, what way to go? Alright. I see. We'll have time for this trainer. I know I'm using a guide, but that way I can get more battles in. 
Psychic power is the power of your soul! This guy only has one Pokemon, so he'll have time for him. And it's a Kadabra. Kadabra! Since Shadow Ball's physical, plus considering Kadabra have a lot worse special def physical defense, and Umbreon has slightly higher attack. Yep, one KO. Very nice work, Umbreon. All right, that is the last trainer for this episode. Next time we will battle Sabrina, hopefully. See you then.